What's good? I'm Neptune Arasash. Are you ready for some SCP Containment Breach? If so, I will see you in a little bit. Without wasting time, let's get right into this. I have um, played this in my free time and learned a little bit of the controls. I found out that there's a note right here I didn't see. <laughs> and I also learned that you can check your inventory, you have equipment, you have um, codex, like this is um, where SCP-173 was, that is until it escaped. And um, it just basically has the important stuff highlighted when the statue is left unobserved and line of sight is broken, the statue becomes animate. However, the statue is extremely hostile and will kill and will attempt to kill any human. So pretty brutal. And um I also found a couple new places. It's still very dark. I have my blinds open. Alright, let's see what's in here. It's quite the place to work. That doesn't seem all that scary. But, um, I'd say an important tip would be to close the doors, because, um, I didn't do that last video, and I died many, many times. Let's check, let's take a look at this one note. Let's see. Facility documents. Congra Congratulations. Due to your delignment service to the Foundation, you have been promoted. You are now eligible to receive your very own office. Your, excuse me. Your office comes with the following benefits and amenities. Custom layout using any props in game subjects to review. Blah blah blah. Also, um, I am quite impressed with the frames. Last time it was horrible, but this time it's running at like a full 60 frames per second. It's went up to like 70 at some points. So I am very proud of that. Now we can continue on with the game. And I also learned how to quick save. It is it is F5, but now I can't use that. I didn't know that, but apparently you can crouch in this game. I'm trying to find like where one of the SCPs were. Okay, let me shut this real quick. I, I gotta make that a habit. Like it's a necessity if you don't wanna get like your neck snapped. Don't know what that did. It did something. Oh my god, it's so loud. It is so loud. Wait, I actually can't escape either. All the doors are locked. Oh my god, so cool. Let's do a quick save. I get the feeling I'm close to something new. Oh, I didn't see this earlier. Oh, it's a clipboard, I see. Okay, where does this go? Okay. Can that thing kill me? Alright, let me close this, see if it stops whatever that is. Nah, it didn't help. Well, I guess I'll have this thing stalking me for eternity now. What could be in here? Nothing, really. Is there an SCP in here? Are the toilets SCPs? Like, bruh. This place is literally like a maze. Like, is there a way to check and see where you've been? I'm pretty sure you can. Let me check the let's see equipment map. Yeah, I can use a map. I just don't know where it is. Am I not looking hard enough? Something tells me I've overlooked something. 
Oh, the elevator. Let's go, um... Let's see, up or down? Said most of the people who are missing is downstairs, so... Let's go downstairs, boys. I'm quick saving. So in case if, um... Maybe downstairs is too dangerous, I can go upstairs. I don't know why the music's so intense. I can't really see what's happening. Like, even with the brightness all the way up, it's still, like, really dark. Alright, let's see what this is. Let's see, SCP-939. Please advise your team that the remaining SCP-939 specimens are expected to arrive this morning now that SCP-9393 is accustomed to the new chamber. Like before, they are heavily sedated. Should there be a problem, you'll have a full security detail at your disposal. See, see to it, the rest, never mind. I'm just gonna stop. Oh crap, go away! Damn it. I mean, I should have kind of expected 939 to be a serious threat because it says that the threat level for 939 is severe, which I assume is um, something not to fuck with, but. All right, instead of going downstairs, let's go upstairs this time. Am I? <coughs> All right, this is. Okay, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Nope, nope. Okay, that was not the most pleasant place to be. I'm starting to leave the doors open more and more. I guarantee I'm gonna get killed by 173 if I keep doing that. God damn it. Alright, let's see what else I could do here. It looks like I only have two options, and that's up or down. Let's go up again. Hopefully I don't end up um, where that other room was. I wish it was easier to navigate. Will this take me somewhere else? God damn it. I'm gonna die now. What a pathetic way to die. Alright, I'm gonna say screw the elevators until I get something that enables me to go down there, like some kind of gas mask. Yeah, the combine mask, that's what I need. Anything in here? No. Don't think I'm gonna have much luck finding SCPs getting more and more lost. All right, SCP-330 and SCP-178. All right, let's see what the hazards are. Cognito hazard, bodily harm hazard, and then this one's just bodily harm hazard. All right, how about a quick save? So I can view both of these at the same time. SCP-178. When worn, the wearer begins perceiving large bipedal entities. Exhibit a docile and occasional, occasionally curious hair. I mean, behavior. Interact with the entities results in severe interact lacerations suddenly appearing on persons involved. Okay, let's see what happens when I wear these. Okay. Let's wear these for a while. So, that actually scared the fuck out of me. Like, bruh, what's this thing supposed to be? It looks like some kind of demon lord. Um, I did not mean to. Well. <laughs> oh well, we'll get him next time. All right, let's take a look at SCP-330. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure that was shown during the intermission at one point. SCP-330. Take no more than two, please. When a quantity of candy greater than two pieces is removed, the offender instantly has both hands severed at the wrists by an unknown method. Sounds lit. Let's do it. Alright. Can I eat these? Alright, let's take three. <laughs> Dude, that was actually pretty loud. Bleeding. Pretty hardcore as well. I'm not just bleeding, I am bleeding out. Can't close things anymore. Because I have no hands, why am I even trying? Doors closed behind me because I didn't want 173 screwing around. Oh well. There will eventually come a time when I actually want to escape from this place. How do I get over there? That's the elevator, so... Guess I have to go around. Pretty sure this is where I saw it. This game's pretty unique. There isn't really many games about escaping from a facility containing these objects slash things that just have inhumane capabilities. I've been down here yet, pretty sure. Rooms are changing a little bit. I need a map and I need it now. Well, I guess I have to wait it out. Okay, what's this? SCP-983. Each verse sung by SCP-983 appears to age the owner of- Where? I can't see where he is. I legit can't see. <laughs> Dude, I'm like that type of person who gets jump scared. Like, when when I get jump scared, I flip tables, dude. Like, um, I've played Slenderman before. First time I got jump scared by that thing, I about threw my laptop. Like, it was so bad. Anyways, guys, that's all the time I've left for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, and remember to stay cool.